Morning, everyone. Josh here, Solopreneur Grind CSG, SG Daily. Number 59 for Friday, May 17th. Hope your week is going well. It's finally warming up here. The sun is out. The birds are chirping. And man, it's been a busy week. It's been a busy week on my end for two reasons. Number one, sales picking up in the sense that in, in my line, <laughs> moving the mic here, in my line, it it's it's I've talked about this before. It's very up and down because files with certain clients are we all aren't excuse me aren't always ongoing, but when they are and when a few line up at the same time, it can it can get messy. Not in a bad way, just busy. So that's happened, which is good because it means billings for the month will be good, and exploring some other kind of business ideas, some around SG, some around my firm some around my JMUG, but mostly actually about my firm. There's been a shift in the last week or so where some cool opportunities have popped up, uh, all while trying to maintain the firm, of course, maintain sales, been going to more networking events because I've made it that made that my mission for the month of May and June, in general, kind of ongoing. If you're a solopreneur and you're not going to any networking events, you're missing out. I think if I were to if I were to give like three reasons for my success in building up my own law firm, absolutely one of them is attending lots of networking events. It may even it's maybe one or two, like number one or number two of like the most important things I've done that have led to my success just because of how I was able to meet cool people, expand my network, get referrals, meet like minded people who keep me sane. And things like that. So can't speak highly enough. If you're in a small town, start one. If you're in a big town, there should be lots of them. Or you could even still start one if you want, if there's a hole in the market or if no one's doing good ones. So that's my thinking on networking. And in terms of new business opportunities, I, I find it difficult. And maybe a lot of you solopreneurs or potential solopreneurs or entrepreneurs would relate. But... <clears throat> I can't really sit still doing the same thing for too long. And what I mean by that is I've been doing my firm for a year and a half now, a little over a year and a half now. And I started to get an itch about a month ago, a month or two ago, where I didn't want it. So I'm a one man show for the most part. I have some consultants who help me with um, marketing and I have a business coach and I have, I hired a part-time VA in January to help offload some of the admin work. But I kind of realized that I, I want I had an itch and I kind of wanted to work on something bigger, right? And I wasn't sure if that was <clears throat> making the firm bigger, making more sales, hiring someone, starting something semi-related or new or growing SG or what that was. So I spent a lot of time thinking about it. And another reason why networking is so great is that things... When you focus on things, when you put energy towards things, oh, there's a great Tony Robbins quote, uh, and it has to do, uh, where focus goes, energy flows. That one always stuck with me. <clears throat> so when you start focusing on something or thinking about something, even in a certain direction, not a specific idea, it's funny how like interest and energy kind of you put energy towards it and then energy is attracted to it, right? That law of attraction type uh, mantra. <clears throat> so it's funny how things work that way. It's been a really busy two weeks, not just for the firm, but for opportunities popping up, meeting the right people at networking events, coming up with the right ideas, meeting the right people at the right time. So <clears throat> all of that is to say uh, things are busy, things are exciting. I can't really reveal too much of what's going on in the background just yet, but have no doubt that I will at some point. And what I really want to pass along is that if you're stuck or if you haven't started yet, or if you're thinking of starting, or if you don't have an idea, or if you do have an idea, the best thing you can do, the best things you can do are keep learning. So that can be by things like books, courses, seminars, I don't really think you have to like go buy fancy expensive courses if you don't know what you want to do yet. So this part is targeted to people who don't know what they want to do that. Maybe they have a vague idea. Maybe they don't. They want to start something. They don't know what yet. It can be on, you can do it for free online, read blogs, watch YouTube video. Don't go down like the YouTube rabbit holes. 
um, unless you're really watching the good stuff. There is good stuff on YouTube. I always suggest reading. I also think it's better for you than staring at screens for hours and hours at a time. Ironic, if you're watching, to talk to people. It doesn't have to even have to be specific people. Talk to smart people. Talk to passionate people. Talk to motivated people. Talk to people in your niche of interest or your area of interest. See what they're working on. Tell them what you're working on or thinking about. If you do have an idea and it's just you and you haven't done anything on it yet, don't hide it and pretend like it's this billion that you're the next Amazon. You're hiding it so that other people won't steal it. You don't have to explain all details and your whole idea to people. But A, people are a lot busier than you think. So they're probably not going to leave your coffee chat and start your business the next day. And B, if you, if you, you know, if you don't tell them too much and you're authentic and you're genuine, it could lead to a partnership. It could lead for them, you know, to them rec recommending you to someone who's doing it or thinking about doing it who could do it with you. So <clears throat> number one, continue reading and learning. Number two, meet people, talk to people, network with people. Number three, take care of yourself. Uh, journal more, meditate more, think more. I've been sitting out, swing this around here, this video. You can see my balcony. I have a pretty, pretty cool balcony at my apartment. Spending more time out there at night, even just for like five, ten minutes at the end of the day, just sitting, looking out, looking out at the stars and just kind of thinking having some time with yourself. I, I forget which episode number it was, but episode SG podcast with Carson. Uh, he mentioned that what we don't do enough today is just spend some alone time, right? Take some time to yourself, whether that be on a balcony, at the gym, on a walk, anything like that. I think it might've been episode 26. Episode with Carson Lee, really cool episode. All my episodes I really enjoyed. I had great, I've had been lucky and had really great guests. But that that little snippet from Carson really stuck to me. Shout out to Carson if you're listening. So that's it for today. Definitely, if if you if you're stuck, if you're feeling stuck, if you're trying to grow a company, if you're trying to start a company, keep reading, keep meeting people and talking to people, and take care of yourself mentally. Spend some more time with yourself, and be patient because if you're spending the right time and energy towards those things or even ideas that don't exist, trust me, with time and with effort, they will blossom into something. I can't tell you what, that's for you to figure out. Hope your week went well. Have a great weekend. It's a long weekend here up in Canada. If it's a long weekend for you, happy long weekend. And I will likely see you not till Tuesday. Have a good one.